We're going on a trip. We're going on a trip to the mountains. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. The day has come. We are going to the Shenandoah Mountains today for the weekend. It's about a three and a half hour drive up there. I can't have you in the shot. You don't have a shirt on, Joe. What's wrong with my body? Nothing's wrong with your body, Joe. But you can't be walking around like that. You know, the whole world will see your boobies on YouTube. So, I'm excited. Today is the day. It has come. We are going to the cabin getaway trip with little Parker. I've got all my stuff packed up. I've got my outfit picked out for today. We're all packed up, ready to go. We've got Joe's suitcase with some of my stuff in here too. I always hijack Joe's suitcase because my suitcase is never big enough, as you can see. I'm gonna have to try to like shove this down. And I suck at packing. I'm the worst packer in the entire world because I pack way too much stuff. Then we've got Parker's little suitcase over here. I always help Parker pack. He's got his undies, his outfits. Oh look, he threw in his goggles for the jacuzzi because that's what we do in a jacuzzi. Oh look, you can see me in the goggles. So fun. His little bathroom bag with his little man styling cream that he got from the hairstylist the other day. He feels all grown up. Then over here we have all of the stuff for the cabin. So basically the way we do it is we take a really big ice chest for all the refrigerator stuff and we still have to get ice for that. Hi Ollie. But this is our dry food bin so we've got all the stuff for roasting marshmallows and this is not healthy, okay? <laughs> not even the slightest bit healthy. Okay. Um, but I mean, it's a trip. It's a cabin getaway, right? Like you're supposed to eat yummy food and just like splurge a little bit. And this guy's going with us. Aren't you, Ollie? Huh? You going to, to the cabin? Yes, you are. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. But yeah, we've got, um, look, not all bad, right? I've got oranges and uh, apples in there. And then, oh, well, these, you know, you got to have chocolate chip for pancakes. And just some like snacky type stuff for uh, us and Parker, like for when we go hiking. Some granola bars and some condiments, ketchup, mustard, olive oil, cause we're gonna be making some chicken tacos, uh, pancake stuff, lots of goodies. Virginia is so bipolar with the weather. So it is, well, it was pouring rain. It kind of let up a little bit, but it's thundering and lightning. <laughs> so we're gonna be driving in potentially rainstorms. Um, and Ollie is gonna be in the kennel in the back of the truck. So our other truck, the white one, we had a camper shell for it. That went with the truck. And so now we still need to get a new camper shell for the new truck uh, for the trip across country when we go to Alaska. But we haven't done that yet. So we are covering Ollie's kennel with a tarp to make sure he doesn't get rained on. You guys hear that thunder? Mm. I love thunderstorms. I just don't like tornadoes. All right, we are loading up the ice chest and then we are hitting the road. All right, we're officially on the road, heading to the mountains, aren't we, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Joe. <gasps> oh, you did it! Joe showed emotions. Did you guys all see that? <gasps> P. Diddy, woo woo. Fake it till I make it. Fake it till you make it. We are on the road. We are gonna stop and grab a quick coffee because 
I'm kind of thirsty, but I actually have a little bit of a headache this morning and I'm thinking maybe a little caffeine might, might just do the trick. So I'm gonna grab me a sweet cream vanilla cold brew and then we're gonna get it. All right, so one of the 1,517,023 reasons I love Joe is he lets me pick the music every time we go somewhere. And I'm kind of a funky DJ, like it depends on my mood. I was raised on old school country, like Conway Twitty and the Judds and Loretta Lynn, Tanya Tucker. So sometimes I'm in those moods. Sometimes I'm like gangster and I want to listen to some Tupac. And then sometimes I just need me some Jesus. But right now I downloaded Pam Tillis. So that's what we're going to roll with for now. All right, so we made a quick pit stop to fill up the truck and get ice for the ice chest. And like fun fact, I thought I would tell you guys, we we're talking about Pam Tillis, the country singer. So I grew up listening to her, love her songs. She came to Ketchikan, Alaska when I was stationed up there and I was like, oh my gosh, like it wasn't every day on this little island in Alaska that country singers came to see their fans. So she did this concert and I went to see her and I got her autograph and a picture with her. But can I tell you guys, she was so rude. Like I could not believe it. And I, it was my first encounter with like a real singer that I grew up listening to. And so you kind of have this vision of like how they are. And she was so rude. She was so uh, burdened by me asking me and my friend and, and she was there getting doing autographs and stuff and of course we we're like oh can we get a picture and she was so rude and just kind of like snooty and acted like we were just bugging her and I was like mm, girl you are not that cute yeah I was annoyed but whatever no use thing crying over still perfume <laughs> but you know what we're gonna give old Pammy a break maybe she was just having a bad day We have about an hour and 20 minutes left and we're, we stopped to go to the bathroom and check on Ollie. Yes, it's yeah. definitely hot out here and humid, but at least he's in the shade. Hasn't been raining for quite a while, so that's good. Hi, Ollie. I know. We're almost there. Good boy. cabin in the woods. That's our cabin? That's our cabin. Oh, ah, cute. <laughs> Is it cute? Yeah. Oh, it's like tucked into the mountainside. Come on, come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. I think it's honey sauce. Yeah, I got some fresh mountain air. Does it smell good? The honeysuckles are blooming. Come on, Ollie. Ollie. Let him go to the bathroom, Parker. Look. Come on, Jacuzzi. 
Oh, it's so cozy. We are really out in the mountains. Oh, look. Yeah, there's some room. Oh, there's the fire pit. It's just like the other one, buddy. Oh, it's so pretty. That one's a little bit little. Get We are definitely <laughs> tucked away in the mountains. It was like straight up. At some points we were driving like 15 miles an hour. It was just straight up into the mountains, but man, oh, it's so quiet and private and oh, the smell, all the honeysuckles are blooming. It's just got this sweet smell and the breeze. Oh my goodness, it's about 70 degrees. It's perfect. Let's go check out the inside of this adorable little cabin. Okay, this this is freaking adorable. Like this is exactly what I think of when I think of a cabin in the mountains. It is so rustic and cozy. Look at this. It's so cozy. I love all the wood. Super cute. Got some little toys in there, huh? <laughs> cool. Got a little kitchen with all the necessities. Very cute. So this is the little master bedroom. And you come out and you've got Parker's little room. Lots of uh, beds in here. It's actually pretty spacious. And then the bathroom. Washer and dryer, sweet. This is actually really big. It's got this cute little area. How cute is that? I cannot wait to take these jeans off and get my comfy pants on and pour a glass of wine. Yo, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna wanna leave. What are you doing? Didn't take you long, did it, Bubby? <laughs> Does it feel good? It's like a nice hot bath, huh? Woo! That looks good. Mama's definitely getting in there. Got my comfy pants on, some sweats on a little tank top. Why is it so fun to go and stay in other people's houses? <laughs> like this is just somebody else's house, but it's so fun because I'm not at my house. It's very cute. It just started raining, but the mountain view and the misty, oh my goodness, the mountains are just tucked up into the misty clouds and it's so pretty, so peaceful. I can't wait to have my coffee on the deck in the morning. Um, okay, so the jacuzzi that, oh, you guys, I'm getting a jacuzzi. We had one at our 
house in Ketchikan, Alaska, and it was amazing. We had a two-story house and our jacuzzi was on the first floor, so the deck from the second floor covered it, so we could sit in the jacuzzi, whether it was snowing, raining, it didn't matter, and I would drink my wine, and Joe even mounted a TV out there <laughs> and built like an enclosed box for it with plexiglass. I mean, it was amazing. So we're sitting in the jacuzzi and Joe's like, I don't know. He's like, I don't think solar can run a jacuzzi. And I'm like, Ugh. we got like the Mac Daddy solar package because we thought my nampa was coming with us and we thought we were gonna have to power his cabin and we're not as of right now. So I, I don't know, let me know in the comments, can a solar package power a jacuzzi? Cause I'm thinking like a little gazebo with a jacuzzi and then like a sauna with like some red light like a section with red lights. Do you guys know how good light, uh, how good light? <laughs> Do you guys know how good red light therapy is for you? It's good for your skin, it's good for inflammation. I actually have been doing red light at home um, just with some red lights that I bought off of Amazon, but I'm thinking like this whole like, um, you know, like self-care center on the Alaska homestead. I don't know, that felt amazing, very relaxing. Since it is still sprinkling, uh, it let up for us while we were in the jacuzzi, thank goodness, but it started to sprinkle again. So we came inside and now we're just gonna chill out and watch a movie for the rest of the evening and I'm gonna pop some popcorn. And um, it was just a wonderful first night in this little adorable cabin. What are you doing? I'm just playing with my stuff. Playing with your toys? Mm -hmm. Aw, got a crocodile. Crocodile? You're super cute. I have a whole bunch of these in my back. Are you excited about sleeping in the bunk bed? Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be cute. It's Look at all these. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Are you gonna watch the movie with me and Dad, or are you gonna play? I'll play. Okay. Wow, you brought lots of toys. Mm -hmm. And then here's the dad crocodile. This is baby crocodile. Oh, yeah, a baby and a daddy. And, and this a is a mommy. Aw, super cute. And this is the baby turtle. Yeah. And this is the daddy turtle. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. What'd you find? This big old slug. Ew, slimy, huh? Yeah. This side has little. Oh, don't they have those little holes for like air? I don't know. I think that's what that was for. Good morning, friends. Oh my goodness, I slept so good last night. <laughs> the power went out a couple times. I don't know why, but it's funny. Like we had a little fan going in our bedroom, and when the power went out, you know everything went out so it got like dead silent and the silence actually woke me up just goes to show how used to noises and like background noises from electronics we are but gosh it's so pretty we slept in this morning I'm probably all puffy <laughs> I put my rose toner on just now so hopefully that will help but slept in got up when we wanted to Joe is in the house making me some coffee and we're just gonna kind of make some breakfast ease into our morning and then go to the Luray caverns here in a little bit maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope mm Well, you are? I don't think so. Your dad has flip flops on. <laughs> I don't think he's going out in the woods in flip flops, buddy. Had some major little freaking gnats out here. We're sitting here trying to have our coffee. So Joe just put a little log in the little fire pit and all the smoke 
is coming over to the little coffee table. And now the gnats are gone. <laughs> Completely gone, suckers, take that. Being out here makes me think of the Alaska cabin. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like we woke up this morning and all I was thinking is I don't hear car horns, I don't hear people's music blasting, I don't hear sirens, like all the things that we hear right now in the city at the apartment. And it's like, you don't hear anything out here. I mean, it sounds like a jungle. You just hear birds and like the wind blowing in the trees. So all three of us are like, oh my gosh, it, this is what it's gonna be like in Alaska. <laughs> Waking up to peace and quiet, and I cannot wait. How much longer do we have? Basically, it's June. So we've got June, July, August, September. Four months. Four months. Nothing like a little morning jacuzzi time, huh, Pete? Mm-hmm. Does that feel good? Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So we just got done eating a delicious breakfast. Joe always spoils me and makes like the biggest breakfast with fried potatoes. And then he did the dishes while I got ready. So I decided to put a little curl back in my hair. I had a little bit left from yesterday. So I thought, what the heck, I might regret it. So I did bring a hair tie just in case. But we're on our way to the Luray Caverns. We have been there before, but Parker has not. It's about a 10, 15 minute drive from the cabin. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Everybody has a sweater, right? Yes. Have you got your hoodie? Yeah. I got my. Hey, let's Love you, mommy. Do this. Love you too. I'm so it's about maybe 68 degrees or so, but when you get down into the cavern, it is super cold. It feels like a really cold root cellar. So I learned my lesson from last time, and we all brought hoodies. Too many people <laughs> make my armpits sweat. I don't like it. I don't even like to breathe when there's this many people around you. Know what I'm saying? This is why I stay locked up in my house. This is why I'm moving to Alaska. Parker's like, Mom, I don't do people. We're going into the cavern. What if they fell? So this is actually a lake, and what you're seeing is the reflection of the ceiling in the water. It's pretty cool. That is so neat.
Well, that was a lot of fun. Now we're starving. So we have stepped back at the cabin, but I think because we're out and about already, I think we're going to try to find something to eat. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Hey guys. <laughs> so we came back from the caverns. Oh, that's really bright. They've got like these ceiling lights in here that are super bright. But we came back from the caverns and took a much needed nap. Um, I don't know if it was just being out and about all afternoon or if it was the very large margarita that I had with my Mexican food, but I was very tired. So we took a little nap and of course, little Parker was so patient. He watched a little movie on his DVD player and played with his toys and so graciously came in and was like, mama, is it time to get up yet? <laughs> He's waiting for me and Joe to get in the jacuzzi with him again, go figure. And then they have badminton here. So I think the guys are outside playing badminton see where they go oh yep they are they're out there playing badminton so cute oh i'm not going to show you joe he's looking a little cray he has on basketball shorts <laughs> no shirt his boots and some socks actually i'm going to show you him <laughs> what are we doing I guess this is what we do when we don't have neighbors. Yes. Oh, get it, Joe? That's what I'm talking about. So Joe and I relaxed a little bit before the nap, and we did our Thanos. This is something that we've been doing with our counselor, and it's actually an acronym. So Thanos stands for, let's see if I can remember, feelings, affirmation, needs, ownership, and struggles. So obviously... Feelings, you talk about your feelings for the day. It can just be one word or you can go into explanation like how you're feeling that day. And then affirmation, you give your partner an affirmation, whatever it may be. It can be deep, it can be surface level, it can be like you're a great dad, it can be like I love the way you cook eggs. I mean, it's just an affirmation about your partner. And then needs are whatever you're needing in your relationship. Um, again, it can be like, I need more sleep. We're going to bed too late. Or I need you to be more physically affectionate. Like I've been feeling a disconnect this week, like whatever the need is. And then ownership is something that you feel that you should take ownership for. So it's funny cause I definitely feel like I have more ownership moments than Joe because I tend to, um, I don't know. I get a little pissy sometimes, you know, so I've been learning to own that and just kind of say, I'm sorry. I realized today I was upset about X, but I took it out on you and it had nothing to do with you. Um, that's ownership. Just anything that you can think of that, you know, wronged your partner. Um, and the other thing is struggles. So struggles could be, um, anything that you're dealing with. As you guys know from mine and Joe's podcast, 23 years of marriage, we've definitely had some moments that we are now working through on the back end, things that we struggled with that we kept hidden for many, many years. And so struggles could be a variety of things, right? Whether it's emotional struggles, physical struggles, you know, it, that can just go really deep. But it's something that we do every night without fail. Sometimes once our heads hit the pillow, we do our Thanos check-in. That's something our counselor has encouraged us to do. And I can't tell you guys how helpful that's been in our relationship because Joe is learning how to kind of tap into his emotional side. And um, he's an amazing husband. He's an amazing father. Uh, he just was never really taught affection and emotion growing up in his household. So he's learning how to do that with his family now. So the Thanos check-in has been pretty darn cool to see him open up in a way that he hasn't before. So awesome Thanos check-in, awesome nap after a really big margarita. And we're about to hop in the hot tub here in a little bit.
The only downside to having a child without a sibling is they need you to entertain them all the time. Parker's like, mom, let's get in the jacuzzi. Mom, mom, let's get in the jacuzzi. So I did like a morning jacuzzi run with him. We just did an evening jacuzzi run. <laughs> but then again, he's so sweet, you guys. I could be like cleaning the house, all crazy busy, thinking about like all these things, paying bills, whatever. And he's like, mama, mama, come and look, come and look, hurry. And I'm like, Parker, what? And I go over to the window in the apartment. And he's like, look at the flower that's blooming on that tree. And I'm like, Dang it, you are the one that makes me stop and enjoy the flowers and the trees. I think it was like a magnolia tree or something. I don't know. Anyway, we just got out of the jacuzzi, totally relaxing. So I'm super grateful that Parker talked me into it. We had a very healthy discussion about pronouns. Pronouns, singular versus plural. You heard? I think we're gonna start a fire in the fire pit and we are gonna roast some s'mores. All right, so coming to you live from the fire pit. Little lesson on pronouns, singular versus plural. So Parker is a he, him, his, singular, because he's one, right? One boy, not they, them, we, no. That, my friends, is not proper grammar. So if there's ever a reason to homeschool, so you know how to use pronouns. All right, so that's actually a really big fire pit. Like, look at Ollie compared to the size of this fire pit. That's huge. That's like an eagle nest size in Alaska. That's a big, big fire pit. What are you doing, P? Oh, I'm not just bringing this more stuff over. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I got this and a slug at the caverns just today. Where's your slug at? I'll go get it. Okay, go get it, hurry. It's a nice little wood TP you got there, Joe. I'm coming. Oh boy. Okay, let me see that slug. Oh. Did you have fun today, P? Mm hmm What was your favorite part about the caverns? Mm. Gift shop. Huh? Gift shop. The gift shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? All right, so seriously, y'all, I have been seeing some crazy headlines on the news about the stuff that's being taught in the elementary schools. Mm. You know, I post some stuff to my Instagram, and sometimes I'm like, well, maybe that's going to like bother some people. I don't have the biggest Instagram following, and I've just come to the conclusion that I don't care. I'm just going to post truth. That's all we can do is post truth, right? So I've come to the conclusion that everybody should pull their kids out of public school. That's the conclusion I've come to. So here's the thing. I know that there's a lot of reasons why you can't homeschool. I get it. You have a job, you got a big mortgage payment. Maybe you just don't want to. Mm, we need to pray about that sister or brother, right? Sometimes it takes sacrifices, but I think in this culture that we're living in, it requires a big sacrifice, whether that means you need to switch jobs, sell your house, get a smaller one, whatever it takes so that you can have the time to school your kids at home because the things that they're teaching our babies is absolutely unacceptable. And I think you know that. So everybody should homeschool. <laughs> That's my thought. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing, Ollie? Huh? Come here. Are you exploring? Been exploring all day today, huh? Yeah. All right, so the problem is that we forgot to bring a axe or like a little hatchet so we can make kindling wood. So Joe's having to do this like old school and get twigs from the trees. But the problem is all the twigs are like wet because it poured rain yesterday. So it looks like you got it though, Joe. Yeah, that's, that fire some oxygen, Dad? Yeah. Babe, awesome. you are so good at making fire. I wow, love to see you like this, Joe. All right, so we've got our graham crackers here. Yes, and then we have like a slab of chocolate that's bigger than the graham cracker because that's how we roll. All right, P, here's your stick. Go roast you a marshmallow, man. Oh. Roll it, buddy. Get the rolling action in there. Yes. There you go, P. Smush it off the stick. Is that it? 
now. Best part. How is it? Mmm. Mm. Is it amazing? Mm -hmm. All right, I want one. Would y'all look at that? Joe made that for me. Look at that thing. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Because without you by my side, I would be stuck here on the ground. You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day all right, you guys, here we are on our last full day at the cabin. We, it's like noon right now, I think. We got up this morning and we had coffee, and it's so funny. We actually spent the whole morning out here <laughs> using my phone app. I have an app that can um, identify plants and flowers and also an app that identifies insects. So Parker and Joe, they're so funny. They're running around taking pictures of all these bugs and flowers and plants and things. So we spent the whole morning doing that, had a very yummy pancake breakfast, and we're getting ready to go hiking, but we had a little bit of a snake issue. The black snake that Joe saw actually got up in the truck, and I'm like, I'm not going anywhere in that truck until you get that snake out of there. And Joe's like, it can't get in the inside of the truck, but I'm like, I don't care. What if I'm stepping out of the truck and it's there? Like, and the black snakes, they don't, they're harmless really, unless they feel threatened, but um, still, I don't wanna be chilling with the snake. So we just spent the last 30 minutes, Joe and Parker finally got the snake out. It was like intertwined up underneath the truck. They got it out, threw it into the woods so the snake is free and happy and we're getting ready to go hiking. We're all dying of allergies. Uh, and of course, I didn't bring any allergy medicine. Um, something out here is just not setting right with us. We're all sneezing congested, blowing our noses like every five minutes. So not 100% feeling like hiking right now, but it's our last day here and we promised Parker we would. So we're gonna, we're gonna get to it. Feels like I can fly. You can take me high. I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free I'm pitching a mini fit right now We were supposed to find a trailhead that was wide I need width. We are in Virginia. This is snake season. We already saw one snake at the cabin and then another snake right at the beginning of the trailhead that was coiled up. Don't care. Don't care what kind of snake it was. Ask me if I care, cause I don't. Like the beginning of this trail was so narrow that I was having to go through the brush. We're in shorts can't see nothing don't like it and we are just going further into this dark forest and I'm not feeling it don't feel the need to get bit by a copperhead or whatever kind of snakes we have out here it's not my idea of fun if we were in Alaska already be a different story there's no snakes in Alaska I love hiking, but I don't like oh, being in centipedes. Yay. Look, now I see clear as day, and I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody else. take me no one will ever take me away from you i promise i will hold on to you i 
don't know what I'd do without you. Without you. What a beautiful afternoon. I don't know if you guys can tell. I am currently suffering from a major allergy attack. Like we had to drive all over the place to get some uh, allergy medication. Don't know what it is. I mean, I've been in Virginia for eight years, but something up here in the mountains that's probably blooming has got me all congested, <laughs> sneezing. I about ran out of tissues on the trail today, but we had so much fun. So we're back at the cabin and we're gonna just hang out for the rest of the evening. We are gonna make some uh, cheeseburgers, grill those outside for dinner, um, probably do some more s'mores later on this evening and just kind of hang out and enjoy the last day up here in the mountains because we leave and check out tomorrow morning. When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose there's something different about us And the reason why we stay, stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are After cup, after cup Yeah, it's just the way we do it Anything just to block out the real life Real life Yeah, we're loving the way they Think we're so messed up, up. Even if what we're doing is bad There's so many emotions Sharing stories that we never had yet, none is real. I think we're searching for reasons not to be like them. them. We fly around like paper planes, they never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us, still they wanna tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are.
Falling down, but at least they grow back. 